Hello, and welcome to my new segment called Friendly Advice. Today I'm going to be talking about how to fix a stuck or stripped sway wire end link. I was hearing a strange noise from my vehicle, and upon further investigation, I noticed that the sway bar end link needed to be tightened on the strut. First, I took the tire off and then used a suitable floor jack to support the strut. I then noticed that when I put the Allen into the sway bar end link stud, that it was stripped. This is largely due to the amount of rust that collects on these pieces. Now there are a few ways to do this, but today I'm going to show you how to do it with just a drill and a Torx bit. First, we'll take a large drill bit and just put a camphor and take off some of that surface rust. Then we use a smaller size drill bit that equates with a T45 Torx bit so that we create a suitable hole for the Torx bit. Then a few taps from the hammer will seat the Torx bit into the stud of the sway bar end link. This will allow you to turn the stud of the sway bar end link while you hold the nut. This is the OEM sway bar end link, and while some have a hex nut on the back of the end link, this just has a round surface that's very difficult to grab with a pair of pliers. As you turn the stud, it will increasingly become harder because you're placing pressure on the opening of the stud with the Torx bit. When the Torx bit starts to slip inside of the stud, give it a few more licks with the hammer, and then only turn the nut and use the Torx bit to hold the stud still. While this is slow, it will give you enough room to place a pair of pliers behind the nut on the threads that you will no longer use. I can't stress enough that if you place a pair of water pump pliers in front of the nut and then try to take it off, it will make it much harder as you will ruin the threads that you will eventually come to while loosening the nut. Now that we have enough room behind the nut to place a pair of water pump pliers on the threads, I will let one side of the water pump plier handles come in contact with the strut coil seat. Because of this, I won't have to grip as hard and the turning motion of loosening the nut will do some of the work for me. Now there are many methods to remove a stuck sway bar end link. This is just one method that can be used with tools that most people have. Most people have access to a drill, but not everyone has an air compressor and die grind. After we get the nut off, all we have to do is use the floor jack to raise up the strut until we can get the tension off of the sway bar end link and we should be able to pull it out by hand. I would note that hitting it out with a hammer is possible at probably any position, but you could damage the hole that holds the sway bar end link in place. This is the OEM sway bar end link with a round section that's difficult to grab and the Allen head. Make sure to get a replacement with a solid stud and a hex bolt on the back side of the sway bar end link. That way, if you ever need to remove it again, you can place a wrench on the back side and the job will go much easier. However, it should be noted that the sway bar end links will probably always be rusted, so keep that in mind. Thanks and have a good day. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.